If you thought the Kardashians were bad, wait till you hear Cleopatra's story. <clears throat> Cleopatra the seventh, Philopator, Philopater, Phil Cleopatra the seventh was born in 69 BC into the Macedonian Ptolemaic dynasty, which had ruled Egypt since 304 BC. After her father's death in 51 BC, it was Cleopatra's time to shine. Unfortunately, she had to share the throne with her 10-year-old brother Ptolemy the thirteenth. It was probably her husband too, for some weird fucking reason. The Ptolemaic dynasty was all about incest though, so this was normal for them. Cleopatra had to deal with famine, drought, her father's debt, and her daddy issues. She was also fighting her brother for the throne, but eventually lost and was exiled in 49 BC. After assembling an army in Syria, she came back to show her brother who was boss and camped outside Alexandria near Pelusium. At the same time, things weren't well in Rome. The war between Caesar and Pompey had led them both to Egypt. Legend says that Cleopatra had herself smuggled to the royal palace inside a carpet so she could meet with Caesar and convince him to put her back in power. And although she probably wasn't that pretty, her voice, charm, and intellect made her irresistible. Upon seeing her, Caesar couldn't control his testosterone levels. He made her his ally and his mistress. Her husband brother Ptolemy XIII didn't like that, and to show the world that he finally had pubes and armpit hair, he went to war with Caesar, but he lost and died. Caesar then appointed the 22-year-old Cleopatra as a ruler, alongside her other brother and husband, 12-year-old Ptolemy XIV, in 47 BC. So while Cleopatra was banging Caesar, she married her other brother after her ex-husband brother died. Those rednecks ain't got nothing on her. After giving birth to her son with Caesar, Caesarian, she went to live in Rome and quickly became a fashion icon. After Caesar's assassination in 44 BC, she returned to Egypt. Rumors say she had her brother killed, so she could rule with her three-year-old son as gods, Isis and Horus, but she still had to deal with inflation and famine. Eventually, Caesar's assassins Brutus and Cassius lost the war to Caesar's allies, Lepidus, Octavian, and Mark Antony, I'm into you, I'm into you. after both sides had asked for Egypt's help. Mark Antony asked to see Cleopatra because he thought she was aiding his enemies. But when he saw her coming aboard her majestic ship, dressed in the robes of Isis, politics weren't on his mind anymore. He offered her his support and his cock. He even left his wife and children in Rome and went to Egypt for a few months, where he and Cleopatra founded a drinking society called the Inimitable Livers. They would eat, binge drink wine, play games, and go out in disguise to prank people on the streets. They were what a frat would be like if frats were actually cool. Cleopatra gave birth to Antony's twins, and Egypt prospered under her rule. She was able to manage the famines, improve the economy through trade, and get support from Rome without sacrificing independence. She was also the first of her Greek dynasty to learn the Egyptian language and embrace the traditions, which made her quite popular. She met with Mark Antony again in 37 BC. She funded his campaign against Parthia, while he gave her back a large portion of Egypt's old territory. He also gave her his cock again, and another kid. After losing his war, instead of returning to Rome, he went back to Egypt, publicly rejecting his wife, and declaring Cleopatra's first child Caesarian as a rightful heir in Rome. Now the shitty part is that Mark Antony's wife, was his ally Octavian's sister. Furious, Octavian and the Senate declared war on Cleopatra in 32 BC. Despite her powerful navy, Cleopatra couldn't face Octavian's army, even with Antony's help. They lost the Battle of Actium, and Antony stabbed himself because he thought Cleopatra had committed suicide. He soon discovered that she hadn't. He was brought to her by his friends, and died in her arms like a pussy. Soon after, on the 12th of August in 30 BC, Cleopatra poisoned herself, probably using a snake, and was buried with Mark Antony. After her death, the Ptolemaic dynasty ended, and Egypt became a Roman province. And that's it, kids. A story with a shitty ending. That's real life for you. Remember this, though. Cleopatra was a badass and went out like one. She was very well educated in mathematics, philosophy, and languages. She used her intellect and her femininity to charm Rome's most powerful men, protect her people, and most importantly, have some fun. So don't feel sad. Learn from her. Flash your tits for free drinks. If you like this, subscribe. And if you didn't, leave a mean comment. Then like it and no. You can also play as Cleopatra in her friend's board game, Supreme Leader. Links in the description. And a special thank you to Doriana B for voice acting. Follow her on Instagram.